go check it out and see what's up. It's Club Unidor in uh, San Antonio, Texas. So we're going to go and check out the shop. Let's go see what's happening. So every time I come somewhere, I always want to come in and show a different shop. This is a nice shop. Hey, bro, welcome, welcome. How long this shop in here? This year, actually, the owner's shop in the 25th anniversary. How long? 25th anniversary? Wow, that's pretty good. I got some guys to tell me about the shop. Go on. You know, so we're going to browse around and buy a stick. Mm -hmm. Yes, my office. All right, yeah, yeah. That's all right, right there. I'm going to talk about it. Kevin, Kevin, just move. How are you, man? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, nice right. Thank you. Oh, wow. This is nice. What you keep your humidification at? Uh, we're trying to keep it at 70, 70, 70, 70, 70. 70. Yeah, but of course, with the Texas heat, it fluctuates a little bit here and there, and being 102 days at a time, but we're trying to keep it at 70. That's right. I mean, since you said, yeah, I have a couple. Yeah. So have you smoked one? Yes, ma'am. And how did you enjoy it? It's probably in the top three of my life. Okay. So what well, makes that five hundred dollars cigar so special? It's going to be the uh, the aging of the tobacco before mm -hmm. it's made into a cigar, and then aging after it's made into a cigar. So like every single leaf in that cigar, think about it. There's what maybe twenty twenty five leaves in that cigar, uh -huh. and they're all not. I'm going to say not a single one is younger than the seven. Wow. So that's why. And then after it's rolled. Age of oh, wow. Mm. That's, that's a lot of aging process. Yeah. And then so the next expensive cigar you're going to have to do that. That's good. I said, Oh yeah, yeah. we're the only cigar shop in the U.S. to have them. So what is it? Room 101. That's the that's the. Then this is a, another different edition by Room 101 as well. The Namakubis. We're also the only ones in San Antonio that carry this line. Mmm. Yeah. Room 101. Yeah. 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 Ye
So we have two stores in town, and this is the main location. You got three in town? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is the main. This is yes. Okay. This is the main location. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're good. All right. Like I said, I think I might try one of these. It's a good only problem. You need medium plus. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 Now this is seven twenty. That's yeah. seven twenty. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. Where, 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 is, where, where are those made? These are made in uh, Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Yeah. What you, what's your take on Nicaragua, different Dominican and? To me, Nicaragua is probably the, the best tobacco out there. Uh -huh. um, second, uh, Dominican. And I've, I've never been a big fan of Honduran tobacco uh, in its purest form. I mean, I like enjoy it in, in, in a blended cigar. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's straight up, like hundred percent Honduran. Me, not so much. What's your thought on the plume and the mold? You know, I, I hear it all the time. Everybody talking about. Just about the everybody plume thinks that mold, that plume is mold. It's two different animals. Right. The plume is white. Right. And you can wipe it off the skin. Right. Mold is usually greenish. Mm -hmm. Greenish, and you can't take it off. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Medium, medium plus, uh, very, very good cigar. One of my favorites. Blanco. Yeah. You got simple packs over here. Those are packs of cigars that we carry anymore. We just get cigars. That one, I think, is uh, yeah, that's easy to just find anymore. Yeah. That's the side one. That's pretty good. Then, like I said, the room one on one farce line is one of my favorites. I'm actually smoking this guy right now. Uh huh. Oh yeah. It's mild, medium, and medium plus. That's that room 101, huh? Yep. Now that's it. You say that's exclusive to, to for us to San, in San Antonio. Yes. In San Antonio. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then we've got some 10th anniversaries, which is another very limited cigar, but very very tasty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I guess you get that question about that plume and more all the time. Huh? Yeah. But, so how many cigars do you say you smoke a day? I've actually come back. Probably do three. Three? Yeah, about three, three or four. Three. What time you start smoking your first cigar? So I, I'm the closing manager, so I was going to get here at noon. So that's when I start going to work for the community. Okay. Okay. Good deal. Good deal, man. Good deal. Yeah. Well, we're going to take some flicks and walk around. I'm just trying to. Now, any questions? I need probably. Uh, so you recommend this, this particular one here? You say it's a free one. Right. It's about a good. What, what, what is your smoke? Uh. I just got my favorite signal right now, I would say probably is like the DVD. You know, I mean, like a, you know, I, I don't have to think that one. That, that will is, okay, yeah. Lee B is, I would say, is my favorite. Uh huh. But since I have some of those, I'm going to try right, some, some different. Yeah, I'm going to try some of those. Uh, I would definitely recommend that one, the Forest and the Maduro. That's going to be more along the lines of the, the Lee B. Mm hmm. Oh, it's another exclusive for us as well. The, uh, so one of our other pieces, it's a little bit further more. Uh -huh. As the first uh, Perdomo lounge in the country. So Perdomo makes this cigar just for clubbing. You can only find it. Oh, yeah? Yep. yeah it makes What's it, the name it, of it? It makes Connecticut. Uh, it's some grown in the Maduro. Yeah, the Perdomo lounge edition. Perdomo lounge. Yep. Yep. Hmm. The only, the only shop in the world. Only shop? In the world. Just here? No, in the world. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, it makes this cigar just for us. You can only find it. No wow. Else. Wow. So you probably get big shipments. I often do like cigar shops. Y'all get shipments like every day every or? Day. Every yeah. Day, yeah. Yep. So they kind of know what, is it kind of, I'm a logistic guy. Is it like just in time ordering? As these go down, it automatically order or you have to go in and say, okay, so, I'm about to be out of this side. So uh, just about every day the owner and the receipt manager sit down and look over orders. And so like, let's say, you know, we sell this cigar a lot, but then but the other two shops don't. We'll transfer from the other two shops to here to, to balance it out. Right, yeah. right. So right. he's constantly watching all these things. Okay. So it's y'all got three shops. Yeah. Wow. Okay. But we actually step by. Yeah, but two we have to shut down because the rent was going up, they didn't want to smoke it anymore. So okay. we have to move out. Right, 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 right. Well, I definitely appreciate you, man. Uh, you know, giving the cigar knowledge and stuff like that. Yeah. And, uh, I got a group, Cigar Smokers Worldwide. We're on Facebook awesome. and great group of guys and gals in there. I'm on social media as well, so. Yeah, well, check us out, man. You know, we always 
look for new people and like to share the love of the league. You know, that's what it's about, right? Yeah, so uh, just to let you know, I'm a certified tobacconist. I was the first one in Texas. That's what I was going to ask you now. So you're a tobacconist. What exactly? I, I hear some so guys say was a tobacconist and some guy was a six-week, remember? Of course, this was 50 years ago when I got my certification. Uh, there was a six-week online course, and then you go to the trade show, take the test, and if you pass the test, you can be certified tobacconist. Wow. So you, you, you for real with it. I've been to Nicaragua nine times, Honduras seven times. Hey, I wasn't, now, is that humidity and temperature over there when you go there? I've seen it's, guys going to the factory, you have to put a mask on. So then, you know, the, the fermentation rooms, mm -hmm. don't where you can wear the mask because the, the ammonia is so, I mean, you can see it in the air. I mean, it's, it's foggy. It's wow. how much ammonia is in some of the fermentation rooms. You, know, you can see it in the haze. Wow. Mm, okay. All right, well, I guess my conductor uh, lady over there telling me to wrap up. But hey, brother, <laughs> thank you again, man. I was buying a It's okay to sit down and smoke one? Hell yeah. Yeah. She don't put me out. All right. <laughs> Get out. It's inside the humidor. Now, is it called Club Humidor? Yes. Or it's Club, Club Humidor. Club humidor yes, okay, I seen Humidor up there, but I seen when I look online, it said Club Humidor. Yeah, uh, the Humidor was the, the owner's father's uh, shop. Uh huh. When he passed away. He, he, Took them all over, and then I think came to the clubbing Okay, okay, okay. You say you the manager? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm the closing manager, but I'm, I'm not the general manager. Okay, okay, okay. And you've been here 12 years? Yes, sir. Wow. Uh, yesterday was 12 years. 12 years. So I guess you like what you do. Beats me in I know that's right. <laughs> but this is a nice human door, man. You, you got all kind of cigars up in here, you know. Now, is it a particular order? You know, I ask this question all the time, too. A particular order how you set up your cigars? No, okay. what we're trying to do is keep them all to the same brand together. Keep the brand together? I don't know, but there's no, you know, good manner but how to set up. Okay. Yeah. And this room 101, oh, yes. is that different from the aging room then, yes. you know? Yeah, that's, yeah, a, that's, that's a different brand, brand, two different brands. Different brand, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Illusion. Now, where are they out of? It's, uh, Nicaragua. Nicaragua? Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's good. Now you, how many times you say you've been to Nicaragua? No. Nah. And you've been Dominican? Not yet. I was going to go in 2019 and code it. Mess what you think about the Cuban cigars? I've been hearing that, you know, uh, other... I have mixed feelings about them. Uh-huh. Um, if you've been spending 20, 30 bucks on a cigar... And it's going to be tight, or it's going to be underfilled, or it's going to be, you know, not aged long enough. Right. It's, the quality is not what it used to be. Now, this is one of those lost cities. Yes, sir. Okay. You had Opus X, too? Oh, yes. My father? Yeah, yeah. You got some good prices. Your prices look good. Look real good. Well, I mean. Uh, Texas is one of the lowest taxes for, for cigars. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that 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 affects the the price with the taxes that comes with it. I have a lot of customers in California that ship to me on a regular basis. Because, uh huh. You know, this cigar here is nine eighty over there. It'll be sixteen, seventeen bucks. Wow. Because of taxes. Mmm. Yeah. Good, good deal. Now, what you think about the Ashton? I was talking to a guy about the Ashton. Uh, Ashton is also made by Arturo Fuente. VSG. Yeah, the, the VSG is, is more my speed because I like a little, little more full body cigar. Uh huh. But they make it a mild, a little full body. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of more getting on the full body. I mean, you know, you used to start off with a mild cigar, and it's like right in you, you, the first puff, you can, nah, it's yeah. too it's too light. Now, these, uh, yeah, yeah. 10 bucks? Yes, sir. Now, this, the Maduro, is that a stronger, strong, or? The, I think the Corolla is the strongest of the bunch. Uh-huh. But okay. The, the Corona and Sumatra are my two favorites. Okay, okay. Is that just on the, the taste or, or the strength of what, what you, when you say you like uh, so the, the Corojo? Corojo has more of the, the spice and, and, the, and the kick to it. Mm -hmm. Sumatra to me has a little more of the sweetness to it because it's a Sumatra wrapper. So. We had the ones that mm. the Maduro is good and we the Corona is a little too mild. Too mild. But, it, but they're all good cigars. I think, I think I'm going to go. Uh, Get me one of those. Uh, so, out of these two, I don't. So for the tens, we only. But you recommend? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get one of those too. Yeah, I got a guy. My guy Thomas always 
uh, smoke those Oscar, leaf by Oscars. Yeah. All right. Placentia. What what you think about those? One of the best I've ever done. The Placenta Factory is the one that I've actually visited in Nicaragua many, 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 many times. Mm -hmm. And uh, makes a lot of good cigars. It, believe it or not, he's, people don't realize this. He launched the Placentia line under his own name just recently. But he makes cigars for a lot of other people that, that a lot of people don't realize. He makes cigars for probably about 60% six, six of the cigars. So Placentia, that, that's, the, that's the cigar maker? That's, that's his, that's his, his no, that's family name? Yeah, or, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I've been hearing about that a lot of the... Cigar makers are making cigars for other people, and they're putting their labels and stuff on them. Yeah, they're putting their labels on them. Uh, you got a large selection of uh, Davidoff. Let me show you the handles. These are the ones I was talking about. What's that? These are 100, these are 80. My son actually bought me one of these here, and I took it to Dubai with me. Yeah, he said he paid a hundred dollars for it. Yeah, he actually bought me one of those, and uh, it was a good cigar too. It was an excellent cigar. That's a hundred bucks there, huh? Wow. Now, where are those made at? Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. That's a Dominican made cigar. Okay. Okay. Good deal. Yeah. Man. Wow. This is a good deal. Now, who is this here? It's, 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 I want to say it's a newer boutique company. That's newer, I mean, the last five, six years. Uh, some of the cigars are made by AJ. Some of the cigars are made by Presenza, like a bunch of earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorites in the house. Anyway. You know, oh, yeah? Really, really, really good stuff. Yeah. Their Maduro is amazing. Now, you just said boutique cigars, and I hear boutique all the time. What, what does boutique cigar mean? It means like, like a very limited, small batch made cigar. Oh, yeah. uh, like these, you know, they're, they're not as broad as like Rocco Patel or Tito Fuente or, you know, uh, uh, Macanudo or things like that. Right. They're just very small, small batch. And instead of producing, you know, a million cigars of, of one size, they only produce a, a million cigars of 10 different sizes. Okay. So then they're just smaller. You know, okay. Not okay. Right, right, right. Man. And that's that aging room now, huh? That's a room now. No, I, I don't know why I keep saying agent room. When it, yeah, you see room, it just automatically it hit my head there. It's Alec Bradley. Mm-hmm. Wow. Gurkhas. What's your most, well, you told me your most expensive. You said 500 bucks, huh? Wow. Wow. Okay, well, I'm going to go with those two and, uh, Sit down and see what's going on, and you know what? What? I, give me what's a good cigar that I got about forty minutes, thirty minutes. You know that smoke. You know, or was that? Because those gonna take me a little bit longer. Those other two I just got right there, right? Okay. All right. I'm gonna go with that. You got that one, she got the other one. So, okay. All right, well, let's uh, let's do that. Yeah. Appreciate that, man. Oh, this is the private lounge. Alvo lounge. Okay. Oh, wow. Man. So, this is private lounge. And you said this is 500 a year? Correct. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So, do people have, uh, I guess, business meetings or just yeah. people that just want to be exclusive yeah. and just come back and just chill? Uh, we have a little group that they, they call it Scotch Friday. Some Friday they show up with different bottles of scotch and whiskeys and share. Uh huh. Yeah. So, can you bring your own? BYOB. Yes. BYOB? Okay. Good deal. Yes, sir. Good deal, Joe. You the man, brother. I, I appreciate your hospitality. And uh, definitely nice. Uh, you put that other cigar up there, babe. All right, let me get that so I can go ahead and cash that on out. Oh, your mini packs, your Vita packs is three ninety nine. That's a good price too. Give me that there. Very nice lounge. 
Okay. Let me get that jack. Yeah. He gave me one that's uh, about a 30 minute. Got yeah, that's good there. Nice lines. Very nice. Uh-huh. Very nice. The Club Humidor. San Antonio, Texas. Very nice. How much you cut us? Okay. Oh, uh, yes, sir, please. Yeah. Very nice. Set up. Yeah. Now I see the cigar Indian, and I've been seeing these cigar clowns. What's what's the deal with those? So that, that, that's a uh, his name is Punchy. He's, he's the like the mascot for Punchy Cigars, and that's a old classic cigar. So I know that. I kinda I kinda heard a little history on the the Indian. Is it a history with the clowns or that's Not just really. you know it's just different. Cause I see those at different shops different also. Shops, yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright, well that's it. Okay. Oh wait, I'm on video.